So I'm gonna show the route for Final Fantasy 8 when fish fin fight. Uh, I'm gonna show the normal route and then the killing the spider route. And I'll show all the menus, not the step gun. Step gun, I'll show it later. Also, uh, this is for a 5 fish fin drop in one fight. If you get 4 fish fin in one fight, you can continue, but Dolet is uh, a little bit slower because you get less damage rolls, uh, lower damage rolls, sorry, than uh, the fights against the tank. Uh, is slower because you deal less damage because you have 80 water and not 100. Then in Laguna Dream 2, you don't one shot the normal soldiers either because uh, you have 80 water. Just not enough strength to one shot most of the times. So that's it. So this is based on one fight, five fish fin drop. So let's start. This is also based on console. So at the beginning, I like to do this. Uh, but yeah, the important part is uh, battle speed, mas battle message, field message. Then against Ifrit, Kistis gets Quetzal, and we put everything. Squall, Shiva put everything. Quetzal with card. Shiva with ice magic, ice magic refine. I'm not gonna show the step gun now, but you need two extra AP before fish fins. Uh, that is, you get one bat fight, and then I kill one uh, bat, and then I flee. If you kill both for two AP, that's totally fine. Uh, but you can just kill one, and then when you get another fight against the bats, you kill another one and flee. The important thing, you need two AP. After this, going for the fish fins, remove Shiva at Ifrit and add Shiva. Sorry, add Shiva. Well, whatever, add Shiva to kiss this also. And that that's the menu. Then again, uh, in Dolet, before anything, you switch cell with kiss this, and that's all. You don't do anything else, and then you kill this. Because Shiva will learn as magic refine after the first fight, and after the first fight is when you refine the fish fins with Squall, uh, and then you put boost, and then you put strength 20% here. And then you auto attack. And that's all, and then here uh, you need 2 AP more, 2 extra AP before Elboret. So use land card before Elboret which means that you need 2 AP, 2 extra AP from enemies before Elboret. Now before Elboret means that gets a learn card, therefore you, we put card mode. Uh, that's the menu before Elboret and that's the wallet. And now for Sid, uh, we add Siren to Zell and then the GF command then strength junction for Shiva and life magic refine for Siren and then we switch cell kiss this. Now here uh, we need water first position and then I like to delete the uh, thunders basically. Then here I like to rearrange it. This is not uh, important. I just like to rearrange it this way but do it however you want, however you like. And this one is the same, you don't need to do it, but uh, this helps, like this is a hero, no, our stone, and this is hero, so we put here an our stone, or our stone here, I don't know, here, but that's totally optional, it's not necessary at all, I use it there because I have free time, then Diablos, it's switch, so Squall selfie kiss this. Then we refine the Blizzagas to Squall. Then we switch water Blizzaga. That's why we want water in the first position, so it's all it, it's fast. And that is all and then we kill Diablos. And after Diablos, what we do is to sell Elixir and the uh, one Elixir and the magazines. And then we buy one tent and twelve shotguns. 
after this it comes uh, Laguna Adrian 1. Laguna Adrian 1 is Ifrit everything. And then we put Ifrit learns strength 40% and Diablo's learns time magic refine. Against Gero Gero, the menu is Zal equips with Quetzal, Shiva, and Diablos, auto attack, and then everything. And then we switch Zal with Selfie. Because Selfie is gonna cancel the saga. And after that, it's. Uh, after the train. We need to open the menu once to auto attack, so this guy is in strength, junction in strength and selfie. And after this, uh, in timber, in the house, we need to switch squall with selfie. Here. Then, in Laguna Dream 2, you need to double attack the cyborgs. The cyborgs are the enemies that are green, the soldiers that are green or have a green part. Those are, have more HP and you need to double attack them because we don't need, we don't have card mode yet. So we don't have uh, strength 60% etc. Now after this uh, comes the Galbadia, but before Galbadia, yeah, first the, the selection, I'm used to select Irvin and Zell, but you can do Zell Irvin, I'm just used to do it this way, and then the important part is Irvin Squall Junction and Irvin and Squall Selfie Junction, the Squall Irvin, the Squall Selfie, that's the, those are the, the junctions. And then after this, it's uh, the menu. It's first the Karmot, Diablos, Kistis, Cell, and then Caterpillar. In that order. Well, not in that order, sorry. Because you can do it however you want. That's just for me. Diab you Karmot, Diablos, Kistis, Cell, Card, and Caterpillar. Then you refine Seven to Soul to Squall, Cell, Irvin. Sorry, uh, black hole to Irvin and Squall to both. Then we refine 100 Kuragas to Irvin. Then here Quetzal needs HP junction, Diablos and Counter half, and Irvin does uh, all Zell. So he gets 100 triples. Squall Zell. So he gets 80 triples. From here, Hyper Priest to Ifrit, Shiva, and Diablos, and Spiderweb to Kistis. And then we equip the strength, auto attack, auto attack, strength. And that's it. That's the menu. That's disc 1. Now let's go for disc 2. And this 2 starts with Laguna Dream 3, and Laguna Dream 3 has a different has a little change and is that Kiros will equip everything if you remember if you are used to run this game what we were doing is uh, this and then equip Carbuncle to Laguna so it's Ifrit and Carbuncle at the same time so the experience that they are gonna get are halved but since we only kill one fish fin fight Ifrit gets less experience like 180 or something like that so sometimes the game control and you get if you're level 9 instead of 10 in Esther. It's it's a Shiva Urban Club Diablos item only. I mean if you put everything it's not a big deal, but yeah, item only. And that's the that's the menu. Now after this here comes the prison. The prison uh, here it's switch Zal, Squall, Irvin, Kistis, GF, Carbuncle, HP, and Knon with Diablos. That's the, the menu. And then when you have to select the party, you select Kistis and then 
Jackson switches out, gets this Renault as well. So this way, well, and then here you have to open the menu and auto attack Renault as so Renault gets uh, the yellow HP. After this, uh, you have to select the uh, missile base. Missile base, uh, it's self Renault. Uh, Mm. Selfie Renoa Kiss this selfie That should be it Then in the missile base uh, So yeah with that Selfie has Ifrit And then Kiss this has uh, everything so the fight is... Uh, you don't need to open the menu unless you need to heal kiss this. But you don't need to open the menu here in this part. The fight is... Uh, you attack with selfie and kiss this. Since we don't have a strength 40%, we need... Like the normal fight with strength 40% is... Selfie, selfie. So attacking selfie twice. But... With selfie twice. But since we don't have strength 40%, we need to do selfie, then kiss this, and then selfie. But since we need to wait for selfie ATB to fill, we don't lose almost anything. Now, the second time you attack with selfie, be careful, because you need to let kiss this ATB to fill. Because you want to kill the limit break here. And you get the 4 AP. Now in the garden, it's just squall selfie and kiss this airbine. And from here, Norg is the main Norg here. So, Norg is the change, the little change of this route. You need to do a menu before Norg, and the menu is first you put even in yellow, you can do it like this. You can enter the switch and do this. Now, for me, it's faster if you enter here because then you need to remove a carbuncle. Anyways, so I like to put it in yellow. Then you remove carbuncle. And then you add carbuncle to squall. And then here, you can't do auto attack. Why? Because we have the water in vitality. And we want the water here. So in order for the water to not junction to vitality and keep it here for the tank later, you can't uh, do any auto attack. You just equip strength 40%. And that's all. And then GF. If it <laughs> HP junction. So the idea is even yellow HP, remove carbuncle, add carbuncle without auto attack, strength 40%, and then if it uh, HP junction. And that's all. The fight is just attack with Irvin, and then attack with Squall, and let Irvin to fill the limit break, to fill the ATB, and then cue the limit break. Uh, after that, it's the the Balam city where we pick Irvin Zell in this order, at least for me. I like it this way. And then Squall Irvin. And then here the menu is first Magic Irvin. Squall, so Irvin gets everything, the Saga and everything. And the triples, everything. Uh, and then you give 10, so it's 90-90. So now Irving has everything, Kuraga, Blizzara, Water, Triple, whatever, everything. But triples, we have 90-90. And then, and then Auto Attack, Arbine, and Ketzel, Shiva, Diablos, Auto Attack, and everything. And here, you can, if you want, Say if you want to be safe, you can heal 
or use an elixir. If not, you can skip this part and not heal Squall, but I recommend you to heal Squall. Now, menu Travia. You can select, I mean, I select Sal and Selfie because they are the first ones. You can select whoever you want. The menu before Travia is Pandemona and then Anknon. Doesn't matter if you have the doctor. And then Initiative. Dark Side. F Magic Refine. And after, in the. When you have to select the party here, you select Cell and Selfie. And then you Junction Switch Squall Selfie. Here, Cell Irwin. Then Irwin Squall, Irwin Selfie. So this way we have Ifrit Carbunco with Squall, Quetzal Shiva, Diablos Pandemona with Irwin. By the way, before, because I just thought about this, before you have to select uh, Irwin Squall Gistis for the. Because Selfie has encounter, like non encounters after Travia. So you, so you select Squall, Irwin, Gistis. So the other party is Zell, Rinoa, Selfie, right? And then when everyone gets together, you select the last option, which is uh, Irwin Selfie Squall. That's before Galvadia, but yeah. Uh, but that's the this two, and then this three. At the beginning, when you have to leave the garden, you select Zell. Irvin and then just junction switch Squall Irvin. So now Squall has the non encounters. Then here in Laguna Dream 4, that's the party for Laguna Dream 4. Irvin kiss this. And now the menu for Laguna Dream 4, it's just the uh, curious with Ifrit, then item, and 14 60%. And then against Abaddon, uh, you select Irvin Squall Kistis. I don't need to show that. But it's just uh, Irvin Squall Kistis, basically. Then Laguna Dream 5, uh, you select. This is important, you select Zell and then Irvin. Irvin needs to be a ward because we're gonna kill a ward. And then we junction switch Irvin Zell. That's. That's the, the idea, because then in this menu, Kiros, which is Zell, it's gonna be, uh, we'll put Ifrit, we don't need to put item, and that's all. Because here we're, go we're gonna, we're gonna kill a uh, ward, so Irvin doesn't get the, the experience. Uh, and also it, it works better for the, for the robot. At the end of this three, but you will see. Like basically, Irving gets one HP, and then you give him a potion. But I'll explain it in Esther, which is now. So uh, I just, I just, I just found that I don't have a safe state for the Lunar Gate. The Lunar Gate, you choose. Lunar Gate, you choose. Renoa Squall Irving. So Renoa Squall Irving are in in the space with Irving with one HP because we killed him for for like in Laguna Dream five. So Squall Irving Renoa in the space. Edea Zell Selfie in Esther and. Edea Squall, you junction switch Edea Squall when you have to select the party for Esther. You se again, you select the party for the space, Renoa, Squall, Irvin, and then the party for Esther, Edea, Sel, Selfie, and then you junction switch Edea with Squall. So now Edea has the, 
this qual uh, junctions, which is this. Okay, that's it. Now here, what we do is uh, whenever it's slow, anyway. So the card mod the Ifrit Tomberry wall. And then here I like to sort and then strength up. Remember, if Irwin is level 14, uh, if Irwin is level 14, you give one strength to Squall, one strength to Irwin. If you if Irwin is level 15, you give both strength to Squall. This is only for the mobile type 8 at the end of this three. Because in that fight, we cast, uh, we use a limit break with Irvin, and if you only do three shots, you don't kill him, and then it counters and kills Irvin. So we have to use Dark Side with Squall, and the thing is, it has a, it has a way less chance to under damage if at level 15 you give both strength to Squall. Because at level 15, uh, he got the robot is one level higher, I believe. So yeah, if Irwin is level 14, then one strength to Squall, one strength to Irwin. Now level 15, that means both to Squall. Now in the shop, I like to sell the Mega Potions and the Mega Phoenix, and then the Elemental Attack from Ifrit. And then this, but it's unnecessary actually. We have plenty of money. I'm gonna do everything and then I'm gonna explain what you can, uh, what you can skip. So I buy 17, 1, and 4 of this. Then I buy 11 fire and 31 tens, and then Rosetta. Then here. If you do the step gun, you add dark side and remove, and then force encounter here. You have to kill Safi, or try try to kill Safi, and use dark side twice. This is the first one, and this is the second one. So here I'm gonna try to good. That's it. Uh, oh, never mind. Well, whatever. And now here. <laughs> we, we enter, but I'm gonna do the menu anyway. The menu is uh, first, I like to sort. Then I switch uh, there. This is my way, but you can do it your way. Uh, the squall, even cell. Then I refine haste to Zell, that's why we refine the boil card. St one hand stops to Squall and then damage to everyone. Then we're gonna refine 100 Kurax to Squall, Zell, and uh, Renoa. And then a Zombie to self hit and kiss this. And fear Agus to, to squall. 20 fire Agus to squall. You will always have four stones left. Here, uh, I do this. I put this to not learn anything. I will refine with Ifrit. To put this to not learn anything is so they don't learn anything later, so we don't lose time. We don't lose time with that. Magic, you have to give the triples to Squall, so 100 triples to Squall here, and then you can you have to arrange, and basically to arrange is to put the magic that you don't want to uh, get removed from Ultimacia or Giver or whatever uh, in page 8, so it arranges just triples. And Squall is stop, triple, and Kuraga. And here just Demis, 
Dami Dami which is junction to, to the strength Then sword and then I use amnesia to remove the Ice magic refine then the gray ones Gray 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 and fire magic refines. It's only ammo left Life magic refine removed and counter half. I like to do this is <laughs> like remo removing and counter half is just nothing but I'm used to it and remove the time magic refine remove elemental absorb strength and this last three and then HP to uh, Diablos then strength to Quetzal Siren Diablos Carbuncle Rosetta Stone to Pandemona I sort again and then I like to put the chief which is the AP ammo and then the demo there and then here I like to do this and then the mega uh, uh, sorry the elixir there which is I mean elixir is always I mean it doesn't matter actually <laughs> first ones yeah it doesn't matter that was dumb but whatever it's fine and then uh, junctions is remove from Squall, remove from Airbrain, and then Diablos. And then auto attack, dark side item, and then con and counter none. Yes, this is Shiva, and then item. Rena is Carbunco, and then item. Cell is Quetzal, magic item. Selfie is Siren, item. Squall is Ifrit Pandemona, item and all three okay because we don't have initiative because uh, I, I just it just happened that I entered the pan the Pandora but in theory that doesn't happen and after that uh, the last thing is the squall Irvin cell selfie Irvin and with this setup uh, oh I forgot heal Irvin once one potion and then well heal well, and then you would fight. Now I'm gonna use I'm gonna do the minimal. If you think it's too long, I'm gonna show the minimal. Here if you don't want get yeah, there. Don't don't fight. And here it's sword switch. Okay, so the minimal would be we need haste, we need the stops, we need this, 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 100%, we need this, we need this, and we need this, 100%, we need the fire, we, it can be this one's also, or this one's, then we need to put ammo refine and that's all, we need to give the triples, and we need to arrange Squall, stop triple Kuraga, okay, to be safe, that's it, and then here, learn Diablo, Strength, and Rosetta, do I need to remove anything, I don't think so, I think you, you don't need the missing ring actually, then remove, remove, uh, Diablos, that's the item and no Shiva Carbonco Quetzal uh, Quetzal magic item Siren Ifrit Pandemona Pam 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 and then switch this this and this as I explained before, I'm gonna check. Yeah, Firaga, Demi, Demi, Demi. Okay, all fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's the minimal. And after that, you can do whatever you want, basically. Uh, you can add whatever you want. Until you can do the first menu that I did, that I showed, that which has everything. Because removing the 
like the amnesia greens are used to remove this so uh, ammo, ammo refine is used in the first place so it just saves one sack so there's a lot of optional stuff uh, here it's if you fight uh, if you fight the two encounters in Esther before that you would learn initiative so the, the menu if not then just uh, switch the squall and then battle speed to zero that's all and you can uh, uh, heal a squall because he will fight the propagators without initiative if you fought the if you did everything and you fought the encounters then you learn initiative here so you equip initiative then battle speed zero and then switch that's it after this we jump to their house before their house you have to switch Irvin Safi sorry 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 Irvin Renoa sorry sorry Irvin Renoa and then switch Squall Irvin Squall Zell and then here I will refine refine the demolition and the AP that's it then after at the house when you have to go to Esther again you switch uh, you have to pick Irvin and Selfie that's the party Selfie is dead which is important for the robot so Irvin has more chance to get a better limit break uh, and from here that's all the next menu is uh, in this four so let's jump to this four this four is uh, sorceresses which we heal first first we heal I use uh, elixir to selfie and I heal Irvine yellow HP but 600 so he can tank a little bit then auto attack for stop and then here it's battle speed you can do 100% but since it goes super fast because we're gonna cast haste I like to have it at 75% because you need to select attack manually so basically you would uh, you would cast haste on even just dark side that would be it and then in the castle you select the same like self, uh, uh, even squall selfie and here you I like to sort so rocket engine is in the same place rocket engine pandemona then here strength 20% for speed 40% and that's the menu for this route so I'm gonna show now the spider route. The spider route is the same as the like after Nork is the same as any other route. They share the same menus after Nork. So I'm gonna reach Nork and then you can watch the previous like the normal route after Nork, which are the same menus because it's the same. So at the beginning it's just uh, the same past. Uh, and here is the first uh, difference and this difference is based on uh, on how you kill the, the spider right so I like to put draw GF well and then you do the same card and then ice magic refine now I like to put draw GF item why because first I don't use uh, thunders to lower Squall's uh, HP I use fire and second so I don't need the magic command and second I need to summon Quetzal against the spider 
because I used the end to kill the spider. There are two ways to kill the spider. You can use the end, manipulate the end, which Kaibel like did the manipulation, which is like 20, I think it's 20 seconds faster than the Renzo's around that. And it's the only way to make the spider route worth it. There's no... Like, the spider route and the normal route are basically equal. The normal route is a little bit faster. It has the potential to be a little bit faster if it, if it gets good luck. If not, they are equal. And the end, uh, sorry, the spider route is only equal if you use the end. If you use the Renzo's, it's slower because you are losing time because the Renzo's. It's not, the difference is not that huge, but for me, in order for to use the spider route, I need to kill the spider with the end to make it worth it. And in order to kill the spider with the end, I need to summon Quetzal. In order to summon Quetzal, I need the GF uh, command. Now, if you don't, if you if you kill the spider with the Renzos, you can you can still do this, I and mean, it doesn't matter. You do the same, and that's it. Even if you kill the spider with the end, you can do this and use the thunders against uh, Ifrit, and then change to GF uh, before the spider, and that's it. I'm just showing the optimal way in theory, right? Because it has less inputs, but yeah, it's do it however you want. You need to AP. Uh, the same as the normal route, so you, you, you need to kill two bats, and this is what I do. Uh, so basically, you draw, fire, cast, and you cast, and it can go, it can deal 165, but it can deal 50, it can deal, it can deal 30, it can deal 180, like it's very random. So you can, it has a potential to be faster to use fire, but also potential to be slower. If you want consistency, you draw thunders and use thunder. You're, or yeah, basically that. <laughs> if not, then do this. It's up to you. There's nothing wrong with it. After Ifrit, it's exactly the same. Uh, remove this and then add cancel. We don't, um, yeah, you can heal Squall if you're gonna manipulate the fish wings. Then in Dolet, uh, uh, switch here. Zalkist is so Shiva lands as magic refine. We refine the fish fins. And we don't do anything. We just refine the fish fins. And that's all. An auto attack. Now, in the bridge, we kill. We need to extra P before Elboret because Ketzal needs to land Carp. So get 2 AP. Now, before Elboret, Ketzal uh, lands Carp, so we put Carp mode. And here before Elbert we put boost and the strength 20%. We didn't put it before because we are gonna learn the same abilities at the same time anyways. So it doesn't matter when. So actually before fish fin like when we refine the fish fins we don't need to enter the GF. Uh, anyhow. And after right before the spider uh, there's a menu before the spider, and before the spider, it depends how you do it, but of course, like, if you are gonna use the end manip, this is my setup, and if it works for you, fine, if not, then change it. I equip Siren and item on Selfie, then I heal, I, f I full heal Selfie. Then Shiva strength and silent life magic refine. That is all. And Zell needs the GF common because he's gonna summon Quetzal. 
Now, if you're gonna do the rinses, you, you can equip the you can equip Siren to Zell, for example, instead of Selfie, and that's all. It, it doesn't matter. What you need is Selfie equipped to someone. Well, not to Squall, but to Zell or Selfie. So Siren learns life magic to find when you kill the spider. And the setup for the spider for the end is uh, first. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, good. So in theory, self is full healed. So I do this. You attack, trigger, then cancel, and before. Before Quetzal is summoned, you attack again. Because selfie needs to be pretty low, like between 30 and 40 HP is the best. And then you manipulate it, basically. No. Uh, then you kill. If not, use the Rensus. All fine. After that, uh, instead, I remove this because uh, I remove Siren from selfie. But if you have Siren here, then. You don't need to do this, but yeah, I remove Siren from Selfie because Siren needs to go to Zell. And Zell needs the GF if you don't have it. Now it's the time to put the GF comma also. Then we put Shiva to learn nothing because she already learned everything. And if it learned strength 20%, so now it's strength 40%. So I learned life major refine, so we put nothing. Then we switch Zelkis this. And then here we refine the Kuragas to Kistis. 90 Kuragas to Kistis. Now what we do is to put the Kuragas in second position. We remove the Thunders and Waters in first position. And then kiss this auto attack, so Kuraga goes to there. Then you can arrange this however you want. I don't know how to arrange this properly. But just arrange that however you want. Then here, what you do is uh, first you sell, you do the shop first. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter. You can, you can do them any before, but you're gonna fight the Ablos later. So it doesn't matter, you can do the, the the show first. You sell the elixir and the magazine, and then you buy a 1, 10, and 12 shotguns. Then sell squall, squall kiss this. Then card mod, sell, uh, kiss this caterpillar. Then you refine the blizzard to squall, then Quetzal is HP junction. And then here, when you have to exchange water with Blizzaga, if Kuraga is in first place, Blizzaga is in second place, so you can't uh, mash here. So it's not a big deal, but it's a little optimization. And then we use Hyper Beast to Ifrit and Shiva only. And then Spiderweb. And then Zell uh, equip this and equip this with Squall. And that's all. And then you don't do anything. You go to Laguna Dream 1 because you are gonna fight it here because Zell is Giros, right? So now we have all the setup here with Laguna with Kuraga. Why do we want Kuraga, right? 90 Kuraga, etc. Why? Well, because uh, we learned strength 20% with Ifrit instead of HP Junction. Now, why? Because of this. Uh, where are you? Here. Because Laguna's attack doesn't kill Kiros, and <laughs> this is so troll actually, but whatever. <laughs> Laguna's attack doesn't kill Kiros, but uh, puts him in yellow. If that happens, it sucks a lot. Agrabija is super good. And there you go. You need to 
uh, limit break so one and two and that's all that's the fight it's a little bit more RNG dependent if you don't learn HP junction with Ifrit and you learn strength 20% but it helps it fixes everything later because you learn the strength 40% before the tank etc it's it's way better so yeah and that's why we want Kuragas on Laguna so one single attack puts Kiros in yellow so this is the setup now in Laguna Dream 1, what we want is to remove all and then Ifrit. Out attack and strength 20%. From here uh, we put Time Magic Refine. And since we have a little bit of time, we can refine fast the tent so we, we finally get the 100 Kuragas. Uh, and then here in Gero Gero we equip Quetzal Ship at Diablos draw item strength you can put magic if you want it's more optimal to use put draw item but hey like if you are used because I'm used to, to do this so if you are used to do this you can apply that and that's all and then Instead of switching, when you do this, you switch Prisaga water. So you, you smash, right? So you do this, and then you smash. And why? Like, water needs to be alone. Um, um, so, why? Because Squall with water has 51% chance to under damage uh, the President at high level. Like, if the President is higher level. So basically what you do is uh, you attack I didn't trigger but well if you trigger he does he deals six hundred damage so I got the low <laughs> level though but that's fine. Uh, now in timber in the house Zell Squall and Zell Selfie That's the thing. Why? Because why we need to do another an extra junction? Because we didn't switch junctions before Gero Gero. This is faster. Then Galvadia. It's Irvin Cell Squall Irvin Squall Selfie. Right. And then the the menu is card mode. Diablos. Then we refine Samant Souls, Black Hole, Irvin, and Squall. That's all. Then Quetzal, nothing. Diablos and Counter Half. And then here, what we do is all, you smash all, and then mash and give the water. Now, switch and mash. So we end up with triples. 100, Demi 100, Prisaga 80, and Kuragas 100. And Squall has water 100, triples 80, Demi 100. Uh, I'm gonna do it again, so it's smash, give, mash. Now, after this, uh, just auto attack because they already have everything, right? They already have everything, so use auto attack, and that's that's the menu. Now that's this one. Now this two in Laguna Dream Three. It's exactly the same. We need to give everything item this, so if it gets more experience. And then in the prison, South Squall is this Irvin, uh, HP, Carbuncle, and Gnon, same. Uh, when you have to select this, it's 
kiss this and then Zell kiss this Renoir Zell with a little bit a little difference is that here you don't need to open the menu because to auto attack Renoir because Renoir already is uh, in yellow HP that's the little difference and for the missile base it's the same selfie kiss this kiss this Renoir which is uh, the same as selfie Renoir Renoir kiss this actually like it's the same uh, the order is the, uh, it doesn't matter at the end what you want is selfie with Ifrit kiss this with the rest and yellow HP for the missile race now the difference is that in the missile race we do the menu instead of having a menu against Nork we have a menu in the missile base in the missile base what we do is uh, remove carbunco and add carbunco and strength and actually this is another difference uh, because we remove carbuncle and then when we add carbuncle we can auto attack and then add the strength 40% why? because uh, we don't have HP junction therefore triples goes to strength demi goes to beat vitality so the water remain here so it helps because vitality is, is a physical defense so just a little bit of optimization there and then ifrit hp junction and this fight uh, it just selfie i didn't heal okay i didn't heal this this but yeah selfie is just attacks twice that's all. And then ultra waves and that's it. You should get four, but if you get twenty-four like now, uh, there's no difference, right? Yeah, there's no difference anyways. That's fine. Uh, I mean the garden is the same. Like Squall Safe Kistisirve. The fight against Nork. Uh, Irving has already like the the, the full HP etc. So it's exactly the same. Like you attack here, the same as normal. Then Squall attacks Irving without triggering, and then Squall attacks the the bot. Uh, the normal shots like five and that's all the, the same as always like no menu before Nork uh, and that should be it uh, this is the menu for the spider okay so now I'm gonna explain the step gun the step gun is the same for killing the spider and the normal route. Why? Because both are based on killing one fish in fight. So they share the same step count. Also this is for console, I guess on PC with only the but you need to open more menus etc. Is it however you want. I'm gonna you show the visual cues where you should get encounters and that's it. Like optimize it however you want. And also this is uh, 22 encounter step gun this is the default step gun which is it, which doesn't use the brand new game manip that's very stupid to do the brand new game manip so we don't do that so the default step gun is the step gun that we always used uh, since years ago and it has 23 encounters uh, but being bought years ago showed a step gun that had 22 encounters now that step gun was a little bit bad was a little bit better but also bad because it had to walk 30 steps in the prison 20 steps in Laguna Dream 3 I believe so at the end of the day it was almost equal to, to the default step gun but like I figured out how to uh, 
get the 22 encounter step count in this uh, route. This route requires you to be behind at the beginning because we are going to force an encounter in the bridge in Dolet. So the thing is, by opening a couple, uh, like three menus basically, we're going to be able to do the optimal step count with 22 encounters. So this is basically the best step count that you can do for the default uh, step count. So let's start. Basically, first we get this one. So we kill one bat. Then we get this one. Then we fight uh, Ifrit, which I'm gonna cheat. So I can skip this. I shot him. Now, uh, here there's a way to... If you optimize the 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 movement a little bit without fast forwarding etc you should get encounter just at the end right like more or less here it's fine uh, i walk there to force the encounter then you kill one bat and then you flee you need to kill the the bat and then you get the pump then you do the menu and then you leave. Now from here, we jump to Dolet. In Dolet, uh, let's see if I can. Well, you go here, and then you're gonna, you will have to force the encounter here. I mean, you don't need to force the encounter, but this is the setup I like to do. Uh, forcing the encounter here. It's one, then you skip. Why? Because now you only need to press a left, then you get the encounter at the end. Uh, and then you kill uh, two. You need to kill two soldiers and then flee. So now when you press a left, uh, you don't waste anything. Because you already uh, got the encounter at the end. Do it however you want, but you need to force a second encounter in the bridge to get those three blue soldiers so you can kill two uh, soldiers. Now after that you need to go to the menu, press up right there, then we're gonna we're gonna walk here instead of after the bar. Why? Because maybe you are behind, maybe you messed up or something. Since we put uh, we put us behind in the step count. What I do is to walk here, which is it does the same. So one, two. We we do two steps there. You can do them like here, for example. But I mean, it, it doesn't matter really. And now here, here comes the. A little problem and it's that since we forced encounter in the bridge we're gonna get the encounter here no matter what it's impossible to skip it so this with the default step gun that we have in always using this is the first encounter in the training zone now if you are going for the 20 if you are not going for the 22 encounter which requires like, like precise movement etc you don't need to open the menu, you need to delay this because we need to open the menu three times. What I do is open the menu three times, two and three. That should be it. We skip the we we push the encounter. Now, if you don't want to do the 22 counter step count, I believe you can maybe open one menu only to push it a little bit further, but you can get the encounter here. There's no, there's no problem. And now we're gonna, if you want to do the optimal step count, you need to push that encounter 100%. Now here, uh, I need to switch between analog and deeper on the emulator. So we get the encounter, the grads, then there, 
and then here you get the encounter there and now if you are super behind you can walk two steps here and that's fine if not i like to walk them uh, in like another one but you can you can walk here two steps without any problem i'm gonna walk them here so it's one two and there now i got the encounter here but basically you need to get the encounter besides the draw point like here for example that should be fine if you get it before the draw point it means that you're gonna get an encounter here instead of in the next screen and it's very very crucial to get an encounter in the next screen because actually it saves a lot of steps if you get if you get it uh, here, you're gonna lose like two or three steps, basically. And it's gonna be really hard to do the optimal step count. If not, if you're going for the 23, I guess it doesn't matter. Don't fall super behind, <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. So I, I got it there, so that's fine. If not, you can always open a menu, then get it here. That's the normal spot. Don't get stuck. And then here, try to press only up and mash. Because when you mash, you save, like, you can actually trigger the car from here. So it saves uh, a lot of fractions. Now, you are gonna get an encounter here. Optimally, after the stairs. But if you get it here, I guess that's fine. It's just that it's hard to be optimal after the encounter. But usually you're gonna get it after. Then you open the menu to do the selfie. If not, if you're doing the spider route, then it's it's okay, don't open the menu. One, two, three, four, five. You need to walk five steps after the encounter. Now, you can walk them later, as I did, but not too much later. Like, it's, you don't have that amount of margin. Like, if you are not gonna open the menu because you are doing the spider route, I would recommend you to run two steps after the, the encounter, and then walk five immediately. And here you don't do anything. Uh, after, if you get this encounter super behind, you need to walk seven steps. But as I said, this is the optimal step count, so I'm showing that here. Seven steps: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we get the encounter here, more or less, which is fine. Here it's five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all. That should be it. Uh, then in the sewers, I'm gonna do this also. I messed up. I'm gonna open the menu later, I believe. Because I messed up. We will see. Well, this one, and then in the sewers. Uh, in order to know if you are in the correct pace, you need to get the encounter after the, the, the ladder. With that mistake, I'm gonna get it here. Uh, without that mistake, Okay, after the ladder, it's fine. Um, gonna fast forward this. Hopefully, it doesn't lose that much. I guess on PC you do a, a different setup, etc. So it's better. To, like this is the optimal step can for console. I don't know if on PC it can work. Because you can skip stuff here. 
probably it's not the optimal, but yeah. Then you get the encounter at the end here, or at the beginning of this one. That was bad, actually. So this... Since I'm a little bit behind, I will have to open a menu in level of them 3. But... If you get it at the end of that screen, or at the beginning of the last screen of the Seawars, that's fine. If you get it here, like if you can push it uh, enough to get it here, that's totally perfect. In fact, in my last attempt, I pushed it here, so I got it. I got the second encounter in the Sea Wars here. Now, after this, uh, here comes the the complicated stuff. So, I'm gonna use the analog now. Now, yeah, to the menu. I'm gonna equip this only. So usually you get the encounter after the trigger here. That was so perfect. I wonder if it's enough or not. Uh, but yeah, then this one, this encounter that you get here, it has to be. It's not enough. I need to open a couple of menus. Okay, so here you have to decide. If you get the encounter here, this is my setup. You, maybe you can find another setup that is better. But this is my setup that works always. If you get the encounter here or, or ahead, that's totally fine. If you get the encounter before, you can't make it. If you get it here, then maybe you can open a menu later. But yeah, if you get it here, forget about the 22 encounter and go for the 23 one. If you get it here, the 23 one is just to walk a uh, two-step like this, which is that you run six, then one, two, one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. That's all. And then you will get another encounter here. That's all you, that's all you need to to walk. You get another encounter here and that's all. That's 23 encounters in total. Uh, and since you are behind because we fought encountering the bridge in Dollet, etc. and that uh, carries on, etc. etc. Uh, I recommend you to do this uh, six steps running, two steps walking, and then three steps running, two steps walking after the encounter, if you want the 23 encounter. If not, if you are ahead enough, you can walk 10 steps, as always, as we always did. Now, for the 22 encounter... Uh, this is my setup, so I first encounter here. Then I run down. When you run down, that's 6 steps, basically. So now... We run six steps to the trigger. So now we're gonna walk two steps, then we're gonna do a three, two, three steps running, two steps walking, four times. So it's five step ideas in total that we need to walk. So that's we got the encounter, we run to the trigger, then one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two. That's all. So, with that, we walked five step IDs uh, in the optimal way. Now, there, uh, I'm gonna switch to the deepest. And here, okay. So that, that is Laguna Dream 3, so you can choose between doing the 23 encounter or the 22 encounter based on how far ahead, like if you can reach that pistol queue. Now in the prison, uh, well, you do the menu, then here, that was a little bit bad, but I think that's fine anyway. 
this is the another setup. This is the moment of truth. So after Bix and Wedge, you can get the encounter here. Like after Bix and Wedge, maybe you get the encounter here. If you get the encounter here, that's fine because then you can uh, leave and then you get this scene. If not, you force the encounter here. Just in front. Force the encounter. And then I let the screen load. Now, you can, this is my setup again. You can find a setup where you don't need to do that. You need to force the encounter, but then you don't let the screen load, so you save those two steps. It doesn't matter. Like, do it however you want. This is my setup, and it, for me, it works fine. So, all good. Uh, I'm gonna explain my setup. I force encounter at the beginning. I let the screen load. And then I do with D pad. Then do this correctly. Then here I walk three steps. One, two, three. And here I run two and I walk two. So one, two, one, two. I can't hear the game, so it's a little bit harder but yeah if you can hear the game it's easier to to count then here it's gonna be three two so one two three one two and then here it's gonna be five two so one two three four five one two that's all that should be it i'll repeat it again first encounter here play and let load there do this correctly Three. One, two, three. To run to walk. One, two, one, two. Here it's three, two. So one, two, three, one, two. And here it's five, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. And that is all. Uh, I'm not gonna do the entire game, but if you move correctly without wasting steps, you won't get like you will get 22 encounters uh, instead of 23. Now you need to be optimal with your movement after this part because after Fisherman Horizon, it's like three steps away from getting the encounter, which means that. You need to be careful and not don't waste more than one or two steps in the entire like after this, because otherwise you're gonna trigger the encounter in Fisherman Horizon, and that's a little bit bad. And now in Fish in Esther, uh, what you do, I can't show it because I don't have a save state with that, but if in the normal step count you force the encounter here. And then here, in this step count with, with 22, you force both encounters here. So when you force both encounters, the first one is going to be a red soldier plus blue soldier. And the second one is going to be a lizard plus a blue soldier. So that's those two encounters are enough AP to learn initiative anyway. So that's the optimal step count, at least for console or the one fish fit fight route.